Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS and Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, honestly, uh, it's kind of a mess right now, the game. Uh, I did a, a lot of different settings. Sometimes you change the setting and you don't even see a boost in your FPS. So I will show you like pretty much the best optimization that you can do right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to patch it and it will uh, be a lot better. So for now, I'll show you my guide. Uh, it will be better, but it's not like great right now. Uh, I'm running like 95 to 100 FPS and I, I'm lowering a lot of stuff. And normally with my PC, I should be able to do my 144 FPS in a game like that. So I'm pretty sure you guys are going to struggle with this game. So first of all, before starting it, uh, if you have any issue with your game, like crash and stuff like that, uh, search for the psokcache.bin in your game, delete the, this file, it will be approximately like 1.4 gig, it's your cache, it's your shader, and uh, just reopen the game, it will re-optimize uh, re the game for you and it will recompile your shader and it will help you a lot, a lot of people have some crashing issue, also make sure that you have a sp a, like space in your disk drive because I know a lot of people is like installing the game it's like whatever 60 gig or 70 gig but you need more space to install your shader so make sure that you have space on your disk drive uh, if you're crashing in the optimization um, section of the game it's probably because of this also make sure that you're removing the game mode from uh, your window so make sure game mode is at off your game bar is at off and your um, all those capture feature on windows at off really important make sure also that you disable all your overlays so if you have a discord overlay nvidia overlay md overlay uh, it's always causing you like stuttering in game not always but in some games so make sure everything is at off also if you have the latest version of windows make sure that the right gpu in the search bar go to graphic setting and make sure that your hardware accelerated gpu scale tuning is at on and after that reset your computer Finally, uh, anisotropic filtering is not working in the game right now, so you need to force it by your uh, driver software. So go in NVIDIA control plan panel. You have pretty much the same thing if you have an AMD car. So card, sorry, not car. Uh, manage 3D setting. So here in the uh, anisotropic filtering. So if you have like a really old NVIDIA car, go with 2X or 4X. If you have like an RTX car, you can run easy the 16x uh, and if you have like a middle range i don't know an old like 960 go with 8x and uh you will have anisotropic filtering in the game so the texture will be a lot less blurry also i i heard a couple of people uh, had some issue with the 16x i think you need the latest driver from nvidia the latest hotfix so make sure that you update your driver because i think it's causing some flickering when you're using the 16x so I'm not too sure about it because I don't have this issue right now. Uh, power management mode. Make sure also that you're using prefer maximum power, not the optimal one. So that's pretty much the optimization, optimization that you need to do in your managed 3D setting. One last parameter that you will need to do is go where you install the game, search for the game. Horizon zero down, you will have an execute file. Right click on it, go to properties go to compatibility make sure that disable full screen optimization is checked go to change idpi setting make sure that override idpi settings is checked press ok press ok and now you're good with your uh, windows setup so now let's go inside of the game so now in the game so first of all make sure that you're playing your display resolution so that it, it's matching with your uh, monitor after that field of view it's more like a preference thing i'm using 90 uh, when i play this game uh, adaptive performance fps go with off fps limit you can lock it if you want if you don't want your gpu to work uh like for an example if you have a 16 hertz screen you don't want your gpu making necessarily like 80 fps because it will like create more eats and stuff like that and you don't need 80 fps but honestly i'm not too sure if you will need to lock your fps because it's really tough to run the IP fps setting in this game so yeah you can lock it if you want uh display mode play full screen if you feel like your game is kind of blurry i had an issue i think the second time i launched the game it was at borderless i went to full screen and it was weird it was like i was low resolution but everything was full and even my msi after burner was low res so you press borderless again go to full screen and apply and it should fix the the problem or just re 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 restart your game uh, after that, refresh rate, 144 Hz, 
uh, depending again with your monitor so if you have a 60 hertz screen go with 60 if you have a 144 hertz uh, put 144 hertz uh, i'm putting a vsync at off uh, i don't use vsync and i think free sync is broken right now so just put this one at off finally the graphics so first of all texture i'm using ultra they didn't see any difference in my vram ultra high and medium the only difference that i see it's low you're uh, getting one gig of vram so if you have like a i don't know a two gig uh, vram video card go with low but honestly no difference between medium high and ultra so go with ultra uh model quality here two percent for each bracket so i'm going to medium i'm getting four percent at medium so uh, it's the best that you can get and it's tropic filter doesn't change anything for right now so i'm putting at low i don't know if they, they're gonna patch it but right now it doesn't change anything shadow uh ultra to medium normally with shadow you can gain a lot of fps here i'm getting five percent at medium but if i compare medium with off i was gaining like two percent so that's why i'm still at medium not a huge uh increase over there so that's why i'm using medium reflection is weird a little bit honestly i i did a different uh comparison between high and low I was near like a water, like some kind of river. Uh, I was at 98 FPS or 99, something like that at uh, Ultra. When I test uh, Ultra, sorry, at I, when I test the, the parameter at low, I was at 116 FPS. So I was really surprised how reflection was affecting my FPS. So this one really important, put this one at low. Uh, medium, 2% for each bracket. So go with medium for clouds. Anti-aliasing, if you have like a like a three years old maximum video car go with TAA uh, honestly if you have like an old GPU integrated video card just go with off honestly FXAA doesn't it's not worth it and you're losing FPS so just go with uh, off and you will see that your image quality decrease a lot because you have a lot of foliage in this game and yeah you will see a lot of aliasing and even TAA in this game is not good I feel like uh the game is a bit blurry and I still see aliasing in the foliage, but anyway. Uh, so it really depends here on your GPU. So motion blur off. I really don't like this effect on any game. If you like old motion blur, you can put this one at on. You will gain one FPS, so it's not a huge chunk. And on beyond inclusion, I'm putting medium. I saw 3% of increase ultra versus medium, but medium versus off not a huge increase it's like one person and you still want a bit of ambient inclusion because the game feel a little bit weird without it so that's about it guys for the guide if you have any question just come in the youtube section post uh if you have like a, an issue if you have solution just please guys just share your knowledge in the comment section it will help a lot of people i will try to help you also you guys post uh, me your rig so cpu gpu and uh, ram i will try to help you the best that i can and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel Peace.